was with one of the doctors today and I said, hey, doctor such and such, have you ever heard of any of these symptoms after a COVID shot? Girl, you almost made your brother go. Nausea and like a non existent appetite, and he was like. Yes, but it only lasted for the first 24 to 48 hours. So I was like, okay, that's weird because my friend, it's been going on for like a week now. And he was like, oh, that's odd. He was like, I've never heard of that. And he was like, did she take a pregnancy test? I was like, no, because she got the she got an IUD. Like she's she got birth she's birth controlled, okay? Like she has birth control. And he was like, well, tell her to try this medication and it's for nausea. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me write it down so I can tell her to pick it up. So when I told him, y'all, when I told him, like, she was on birth control, he was like, okay, IUD, okay, it's not 100, but okay, and it just kind of made me wonder, like, dang, like, I wonder, like, am I pregnant, what? And look, y'all, when I tell y'all, like, it was, like, I was really thinking, like, dang, I did get pregnant off the uh, Marina. Is that how you say it? Marina? Marina? Margarita? No, <laughs> no, I did get pregnant off of the Marina. And Elena was born, okay? Like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, oh there's my husband. He's going to get me food. But, um, yeah, so I was like, okay, you know, what are the chances of me being pregnant again off of the Paragor? Because that's what I'm on. I have the Paragor. And so I text one of the other, the nurse practitioner that I'm really cool with. I text her and I explained to her what my symptoms are. And she was like, Oh my gosh, I had that exact same thing, but it only lasted 24 or yeah, 24 to 48 hours. She was like, I think it's very strange that you're still you're still feeling the way that you feel. She was like, it's it's weird. Like, did you take a pregnancy test? <laughs> I was like, dude, I am I have the IUD. Like, I'm good for 10 years, boo. I am good. I'm straight. And she was like, okay. She was like, I just find it weird that you're you're not 100% yet. And I was like, me neither. I was like, all week after I got my shot, y'all, I have been feeling so bad. Like, my stomach just hurts and hurts. Y'all, Ty barbecued yesterday for Memorial, and I didn't eat nothing but corn. That was it. That's all I could really stomach. And I've been drinking water like nobody's business. Okay? And I was like, okay, you know what? Hopefully by tomorrow, because I was like, okay, if it's not cool by tomorrow, then I was actually going to go to the doctor to figure out what's going on and see what they can do for me being, like, sick like this. Like, I want to eat, but I can't eat because... I'm throwing up. I mean, because like I feel like I'm gonna throw it up. And so, when she asked me if I was pregnant, like it just made me feel like, damn, like, do I just let me go ahead, take a pregnancy test, 
and get it out the way just to ease my mind because now two people have told me um, to take a pregnancy test or two people have asked about a pregnancy test and I was just like no I don't need to I believe it's something like I for real legit thought that it was from the COVID shot because after I got that thing like the first day I was like that COVID shot put me on my butt like I was like done for slept all day and then the next day that's when I started feeling real sick like when I went out to eat and stuff like I, I felt sick and I was like you know what I just need to go back home and lay down and that's what I did I went home and I laid down and then day after that like still everything was just making my stomach hurt and it's not oh it's gonna hurt in the morning or you gonna feel bad in the morning and then for the rest of the day you good no y'all this is all day all day and I, I have I cannot eat I can't really drink nothing but Lord and behold like soon as I start thinking about food oh my goodness y'all mm. I'll be like, oh, that sounds so good. And then I messed around, y'all, and left my wallet at home. I mean, left my wallet at work. And I wanted five guys so bad. Oh, I wanted five guys so bad. And I didn't have my wallet. So I was like, damn, let me call Ty to see if Ty can call in five guys and place the order and pay for it over the phone which i've done that before and i guess he was like yeah they they don't take payments over the phone anymore so we have to either order grubhub or find somewhere else to eat because yeah i didn't have my wallet i can't pay over the phone so when he said that i legit was pissed off like i really wanted to cry because i am starving y'all i have not eaten anything all day haven't eaten nothing absolutely nothing oh except for these i saw these and the girl was like do you want some mike and mike and i'm like can i have the boxes like i will pay you for the box and she was just like, oh, I just bought them for you because the last time you ate all my <laughs> Mike and Ice, which I did, I tore them things up. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, like I legit got so angry and then my stomach just started hurting. Like I felt like my stomach was about to eat my entire back, y'all. It was just, mm. So I had to get off the phone with Ty because I was about to cuss him all the way out because I'm so hungry and I cannot deal. But long story short, I told um, one of my friends at work, one of the girls I work with, I was like, dude, let me turn my car off. I was like, dude this is my symptoms i legit have no idea what's wrong i think i may go to the hospital and see what they can do if they can give me some zofran or something to help me okay and she had the audacity to ask me <laughs> if i was pregnant so everybody that's three now that is three then she said did you have a period this month, last month? And I was like, damn, I didn't have a period. And she was like, yep, let's go to the store. I'm going to get you a pregnancy test. And I was like, no, because with this prayer guard, like my cycles are, sorry, y'all, look, this is a little tea in my butt. Y'all on my channel, okay? Y'all over here. And y'all, y'all rock with me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so she was like, uh, oh, with this period guard, like, my cycles are not regular. Like, sometimes 
I get it. And sometimes I don't. And that's what I liked about the prayer guard because I can go like two to three months and I have a period. And then, you know, the next month I have a period, but it's like super light. And I, mm, hands down, like the best. Like when I was on the marina, I hope I'm saying that right. When I was on that one, like my cycles last forever. And I became extremely extremely anemic so um so yeah so instead of going on my lunch break like a normal person would we decided to hop on over to good old cvs right and guess what we picked up a freaking pregnancy test y'all she was like, oh, like she she has Paraguay just, just like I do. And she's like, oh, we should get the one that has two because you can buy these things and it comes with one test or you can buy them and it comes with two. And so I think I saw some of them that had like three to four, like it had multiple. And I was like, girl, all I need is one. But she was like, no, let's get two. And, and we both can be on the stick. <laughs> and my ass was like cool <laughs> let's do this shit together okay but y'all when i tell y'all i peed on this stick before i could even finish washing my hands y'all this stick turned and i was like what the fuck what the fuck y'all Look at this shit. There's no faint line. None. None. Look at this. Like, what the heck? When I saw this, I was like, nah, bro. No, and then I was like, I wish I did not let you piss on that last stick because now I really need it. And I'm over here about to start crying, like, boo-hoo crying at work. I was about to boo-hoo cry at work. And y'all, oh my goodness. So, of course, um, I had another person with me. So, it was, a, it was three of us total who knows about my pregnancy test. And um, she was like, well, what are your thoughts? Like, do you want to keep the baby? Like, that? And I honestly told her, I do not know. Like, right now, I can't even register the fact that I'm pregnant right now on the IUD. Like, I cannot register that right now. And so she was like, well, here are your options. You can either keep the baby or you can abort the baby. And I was like, girl, no. What? Like, is that really, like, an option? I never knew that there were two <laughs> two options. I could either keep the baby or abort them. I didn't know I could do that. But anyways, y'all, she was like, well, here's a, here's the number two, like, a women's wellness clinic. Um, You should go there. And I was just like, dude, pump your brakes. Like, pump your brakes. She was like, no, just go and get, like, a new test done. They can test you, and it'll put you at ease. Because I kept telling them this was, like, a false positive. I kept telling myself this was a false positive. This is not, a, this is not real. Like, absolutely not. And because she took the last test, I was like, okay. So I went to the clinic and the lady was like okay you can pee in this cup and i will dip this stick and we'll find out <sighs> you guys as soon as she pulled this little stick out of this cup of piss she was like yep you're pregnant and i was like oh. like y'all have no idea like my i just started shaking like my nerves was just horrible y'all gotta understand i have the iud for a reason i have the iud for a reason and it was the 10 years <laughs> 10 years y'all 
and I know I'm talking and talking because like I'm still slowly trying to register what just took place because a lot took place today. A whole, whole, whole lot took place. And I'm trying to just sit here and cope. But you guys, like pregnancies, pregnancy is a blessing. There are a lot of people out here that is trying to get pregnant and can't get pregnant. I know someone for a fact <laughs> who was trying to get pregnant and decided to call it quits because they can they can't get pregnant. And here I am on a freaking IUD pregnant. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'm like, why? me and i hope i don't get like anything like no bad comments y'all because this is my life this is what i'm going through right now in the future things may change but as of right now i was not happy to find out that i was pregnant i was not my sister just found out she was pregnant. So now we're pregnant <sighs> the same time. And like she can't even have her moment. This is her first baby. She can't even have her first her, her moment of being pregnant and being the center of attention because now I'm pregnant. Jeez, like I cannot even believe that. But you guys the lady told me my options and she was very very graphic like i was low-key pissed off like how graphic she was i'm like sis mm -mm, stop like you can tell she was not for abortions and she made sure that she was very explicit like she was not holding nothing back but I had to cut her off. I had to cut her short. Like, look, I can't. I gotta go. I'm still on the clock, too. <laughs> I'm still on the clock, too. I, I can't. We gotta go. And she was like, do you want me to give you an ultrasound? And I was like, no, thank you. And she was like, you don't want to sit. No, thank you. I'm on the clock. I gotta go. She was like, well, I would advise you to go into an ER because you still have your IUD in place you need to go to the er and see if they can remove it well just came from the er got my whole bracelet got this big ass thing and still have this iud in they told me i was five weeks and six days and my due date is January 23rd. January 23rd. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, yes. Ty is back. He bought me some food. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to...